All right, today we're here to uh, demonstrate the assembly of a, our fitness pole to make it easy uh, for everyone out there that gets this pole. We have our lead installer who's going to go over everything with you. Uh, first, he's going to go ahead and cover all the individual components and the tools needed to, for the assembly. Go right ahead, Albert. Uh, first, you have the base, the dome, uh, two extensions, a short one and a, like a 12-inch one and a collar that goes below the dome, and two uh, poles. Okay, and you're going to go ahead and start the assembly process? First you put in the short extension. Okay, he is screwing the short extension onto the base. Then the next extension. Okay, you're simply just screwing that onto. It just threads right on. It just threads right on. Okay, that's easy enough. Then you want the next hole that has a large screw on the end. And of let's it. take a look at that. So this is this is the top portion of the pole. Okay. Take the collar. Slide it over. Okay. Take the dome. Slide it over that. Okay, and you've already put the rubber grommet on the dome, and that's the part that goes to the right. onto the ceiling. Yeah. Okay. And just put it on here. And thread it on. Okay. You simply just thread that onto the yeah. pole. It may take another person to help. Extra you get set it. of hands are always helpful. You don't want to cross thread it. Making sure that you thread it on correctly. Sometimes you accidentally knock the grommet off the top, so he's going to adjust the grommet once he gets it screwed together. The rubber grommet at the top is what gives it a good grip on the ceiling, and it also prevents marking. You definitely want to make sure you know what your stud is in the ceiling because that's what this press is on. Okay, yeah. Try to find the studs. You might want to stop by Home Depot or Lowe's or your hardware store to get a stud finder so that way it is directly below a stud in your ceiling for strength. You'll need a screwdriver flat uh, Phillips. You need a Phillips screwdriver. Now what are you about to do now? I'm about to loosen the collar and bring it down so we can adjust it to fit tighter on the ceiling. Okay. That's what it fixes this little grommet right here. And this is real time. You're seeing it done in real time. Nothing is being edited. We're just going to load this on YouTube for everyone to be able to uh, study. So these are actual live installation issues that you may run into, like this little grommet moving around. But we're not going to edit this out. It's on. Okay, it's in place. I'm going to take the collar loose. And that collar is simply just a cover for the actual portion that extends and puts pressure, correct? And you, yeah, you just find the wrench that which goes over the shaft. Okay. And you will just simply twist the shaft until it comes in contact with the, until the dome comes in contact with the ceiling. Okay, it basically extending the pole against the ceiling, between the floor and the ceiling. I can see it's getting tight. And how tight do you, uh, how tight do you uh, get that? I want it to where it's secure enough to not... So pretty, pretty tight? Yeah, you, you want it pretty tight. You don't, you don't want it to flex on you when you're on it. It's a short, mm -hmm. short wrench, so it, 
probably what 20 foot pounds maybe maybe it uh you're gonna want it to put enough force on there that it's using the two by four that's behind the ceiling of the joist for support also Right. And what's this bottom? Is that just a this locking is a lock nut? nut to keep it from from loosening? Yeah. Okay, so you tighten that down a little bit as well. That's it. Okay. And there's another wrench for that. The lock nut. Just till it stops. Okay. And uh, slide your collar back up. Slide the collar up to cover, to cover the threaded portion. And that goes right back in this threaded hole right here. Okay, you line up those two threaded holes. And make sure it's perfectly lined up. And for some reason, being a monkey butt. And he's called it a monkey butt. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, once you get it lined up, it might take a little bit of twisting to get it all lined up perfect. Then he uses the screw, and that simply just keeps the collar in place, correct? Just keeps the collar in place, it's just a cover. It's just a facade to cover the threaded portion. It's just aesthetics. So that completes the installation. Okay. Um, you want to give it a quick twirl, move the chair out of the way, go ahead and spin around, make sure that thing is secure. Is that strong? Yeah. Go ahead and get off the ground a little bit. We want to see some spin. It's strong. You're definitely not a pole expert. No. All right, folks, well, it's just that simple. That's the installation process. We felt it would be easier to actually show you how to install one because the instructions that uh, the written instructions just don't portray how easy it is and this makes it a whole lot easier for you to uh, install your own pole. If you have questions feel free to call us. Um, we do have a tech line 281-304-1515 if you have questions uh, concerning installation but with this video you should have no questions. Uh, thank you very much.